All I want to do is have some fun. I get the feeling I'm not the only one. Cheryl Crow What does it take to allow employees to have more fun in their work? Happy employees make for more productive employees. University of Warwick conducted a study of more than 700 participants, which concluded that increased happiness led to a 12% spike in productivity. And according to research by Ben Wabber, companies can increase productivity by up to 25% by making small changes at work that increase employees' sense of fun and satisfaction, such as overlapping lunch breaks and the placement of coffee stations. So it's worth the time it takes to help spread a little joy in the workplace, whether it's for one other person or your entire work group. Following are some simple but fun things others have done in the workplace. Have it be a starter set for creating your own toolbox of fun things to try with others you work with. Sidebar, eight recognition tips to boost morale. One, give genuine thank yous in person by handwritten note, email, or social app. Two, give full attention and make eye contact when you praise them. Three, have a spontaneous celebration. Four, announce employee accomplishments to the entire company. 5. Make up categories to award deserving employees. 6. Make hand or custom-made fun awards from recycled materials. 7. Install and use team shout-out boards. And 8. Give gift cards for things they really value. When colleagues are under tight deadlines or high-pressure projects, Jill Boone, Assistant VP of European Talent for Enterprise Holdings of Surrey United Kingdom, emails inspirational quotes to them Monday mornings, sometimes daily. I know they're getting lots of other emails with tasks to do, so at least one of them is just to offer inspiration and motivation, says Boone. There's nothing quite like a sticky note, says author Kelly Epperson. She uses the notes in two ways. One, she writes quotes, silly sayings, and inside jokes and posts them throughout her office. Sometimes she puts them on computer screens, saying things like, damn, you look good. Two, she walks around her office with a note on her forehead that says, I'm having a bad day. Just having it on immediately improves everyone's mood. Try it, says Epperson. The most successful mood-enhancing technique I had as a manager of graphic artists, says Rebecca Taft of Pac Bell, was to use stickers when I approved something they had put together. For going the usual great job types or ones used in grade schools, Taft gave seasonal stickers. These included little snowmen, Santas or wreaths at Christmas, flags and fireworks for Independence Day, black cats or jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween, and so on. It was corny, but people really enjoyed them. Many peeled them off and kept them on their monitors. I kept a large supply on hand so people didn't always receive the same ones, adds Taft. Donna Gintz, an instructional designer in the Phoenix, Arizona office of the Department of Economic Security, uses the Blue Mountain app to send online greeting cards for any occasion to colleagues. She also creates videos and inserts funny images. Everyone loves jokes. A member of the advertising department at Business First in Louisville, Kentucky, encouraged her department to broadcast daily jokes, motivational messages, success stories, anything to help people most enjoy their work. Sidebar, four steps to telling great jokes. One, set the context. Two, only give information that's necessary. Less is more. Three, pause, then deliver unexpected punchline. And four, never told a joke in public? Practice it first. Employees tried to make each other laugh at the Bank of America offices in San Francisco during its Laugh-A-Day challenge, which they held for one month. Each employee tried to make coworkers laugh with cartoons and jokes. Winners received T-shirts and books that showcase the best jokes and cartoons. On their own, a few employees at LaSalle, the Chicago, Illinois headquartered global real estate investment firm, encouraged their colleagues by chalking the walk. They visited the homes of co-workers living nearby and wrote positive messages on the sidewalks with colored chalk. 